Creating a realistic AI influencer for your faceless content has always sounded easy until you actually try doing it. Suddenly, you're dealing with inconsistent characters that look different across every angle, expressions that feel unnatural, and you find yourself testing multiple workflows and wasting credits just trying to make one avatar look right. But there's good news. Creating a realistic AI influencer has never been this simple. Google just released a major upgrade to Nano Banana, now called Nano Banana Pro, and the improvements are huge. You can now generate images in 2K and 4K quality. With a much stronger image model that gives you cleaner faces, better structure, sharper text, and extremely consistent characters in multiple scenes. There are so many use cases for this upgrade, but in this video, we're starting with one of the most powerful ones, creating a realistic AI avatar or AI influencer for your YouTube channel or Instagram page. So in this video, I will show you how to create one. And if you want to follow along, Hicksfield is offering unlimited Nano Banana Pro generations for an entire year. So if you don't have an account yet, you can use the link in the description to sign up. Let's get started. Once you come into Higgsfield, at the very top, you'll see Unlimited 4K Nano Banana Pro, or you can go to Images Nano Banana Pro and click on it. Whichever option you choose, once you click on it, it opens the image generation page. On this page, in this dialog box, you'll see a space to paste your prompt. I'll explain that shortly. Over here, when you click, you'll see the different image models you can select. Nano Banana Pro is already selected. Then you can choose the aspect ratio. For this generation, we're using 9 by 16. This is the new feature where you're now able to generate 2K and up to 4K images. For this example, I'll use 2K. You can also choose how many images you want to generate. Now let me explain the prompt I'm using. I typed in a beautiful and attractive woman with very long, voluminous, natural, coily, dark hair. Then I described her complexion, makeup, the clothing she's wearing, and the most important part, photorealistic portrait, high detail, crisp focus. I like to create my images in professional headshot quality first because it gives a clean blank canvas to work with. Once you type in this prompt and select your settings, click generate. When you click generate, it will start processing at the top. Let me show you the one I generated earlier. It will generate multiple images and it's up to you to choose the one you prefer. Initially, I generated these images here. You can see the different characters and I eventually chose this particular one. This is the image I really liked and want to use going forward. Once you have your base image ready, the next step is to place your character into multiple scenes. Before we do that, it's worth mentioning that Nano Banana previously didn't have the best image generation quality. Other image generators produced more realistic results. With this new update, it now gives a more realistic look. I want to place the character into a scene with different clothing and different camera angles so you can see how consistent it looks. I've typed in a detailed prompt asking Nano Banana to put the lady in three different poses side by side and I described what each outfit should be. I'm changing this to 16 by 9 because I'm creating a wide image and I'll click generate. The generation is done. Let's take a look at the results. Two sets of images were generated. In the first set, you can see it's the same lady wearing different outfits and posing differently. Her facial expression remains the same. The character didn't change at all. In the second variation where she has a more smiley expression, you'll notice her body ratio, her fingernails, her hair, the way it's packed, everything remains consistent. The overall look is identical. This shows how well the model maintains consistency across different outfits and poses in a single image. If you want to place her in a specific scene, like an office, you can do that too. Let me show you an example I generated earlier so you can see the result. This is the lady sitting in an office setting. 
You can see here that I prompted the lady to be sitting in an office wearing her red suit dress and it turned out really well. I generated multiple variations to see if the character would change, but she remained consistent in every scenario I placed her in. The next thing I wanted us to test is the ability to add multiple images. The new model allows you to add up to 10 to 12 images to combine into a single result. In this example, I wanted to give the lady different clothing and place her in a different background. To do that, we'll click on our base image again. This time, we'll update the prompt and add a couple of images. In this scene, I asked the model to apply a different outfit, including the earrings, shoes, and watch. And I also asked for the lady to be seated on one of these couches in this living room. I typed in a detailed prompt describing that setup and switched the canvas to 16 by 9. You can also try 9 by 16. Then click Generate and it will begin creating the image. These are the results. In this first image, it kept her in the living room I provided. In this variation, the lighting changed. It looks like it's dark outside, but it's still the same character. You can see the bag, the clothing, and all the details remain consistent. I also tested it in 16 by 9 and it produced the same consistent look. To show additional use cases, I placed her in a gym environment. You can see it's the same character, the same face, the same hair, and the same body ratio. Another example is a photo shoot style setup with the outfit, where you can clearly see how the clothing turned out across different angles. I also placed her in a scene where she's walking down the streets of Paris with the same outfit. And again, she remains consistent in every example. Now that I've shown you how to generate your image and place your character into multiple scenes, the next step is how to animate this and make the character speak naturally. I'll be showing you three methods in this tutorial. The first one uses the lip syncing feature called Infinite Talk inside Higgsfield. I'll use this particular scene as the example to show how the lip syncing feature works. When you get to the image you want to animate, hover over it and click the three ellipses. Go to animate and you'll see options like video, speak, UGC and draw to video. I'm choosing speak because we want to lip sync her and this will open the lip syncing studio. Once it opens in Higgsfield, we'll be using Infinite Talk to test this. I'll select Infinite Talk. Once you select it, it automatically uses the high quality setting. You can choose between high quality or basic. For the voiceover, we'll choose a voice. You can type your script here, select an inbuilt AI voice and generate the voiceover, or you can upload your own audio. I've already generated the audio I want to use. I'll select it and it drops in automatically. Once your voiceover is uploaded, type in the prompt describing what you want the character to be doing. I want the character to be talking and demonstrating. Then click generate and it will be queued. Once the generation is done, we can view the result. Here's the result. I love pieces that speak softly but feel expensive. The warm browns, the structured silhouette, and the gold details create that quiet luxury vibe. And this bag ties the entire look together beautifully. As you can see, it turned out really well. The way the voice sounds and the way her lips move could easily pass for a real person. That's how natural, infinite talk looks. The next option I want to show is using video models like Veo3, Veo3.1 or Sora2. To do that, go to video and select Google Veo3.1. Once you choose the model, upload the base image you want to use and type in the text you want the character to say. For this example, I wrote, this look is all about quiet luxury, warm browns, clean lines and gold details. And this bag completes everything effortlessly. Here, you can see the multi-shot mode. Google VO 3.1 allows you to show different angles of the character during the animation. Then choose the quality, ratio and duration and click generate. 
This is the generated result. This look is all about quiet luxury, clean lines, and gold details. And this bag, it completes everything effortlessly. It looks good. The only downside with Veo 3.1 is that at some point, the quality can start to degrade and look a bit plasticky. If you want the most natural look, I recommend sticking to a lip syncing tool. Here's another example with multiple shots. This one also turned out well. The last method to bring your, to bring your AI influencer or avatar to life is by using a video model. We'll go back to the images we created earlier. In this scenario, I'll be using the one where she's in her office wearing a red dress. To animate this using a video model, click on video. This opens the video panel and we'll be using Kling 2.5 because Kling is one of the models that generates the most realistic video results. Here, I'll type, she is talking and gesturing. Then select the duration, I'll leave it at 10 seconds. Set it to 1080p and click generate, then wait for the result. This is the output. You can see she's talking seamlessly and everything looks natural. Once your video is generated, click download to save it to your computer. For the final lip sync method, go back to video and choose lip sync studio. The model we'll use here is Lip Sync 2 Pro from Sync.so. Sync.so is one of the most realistic lip syncing platforms for AI avatars and influencers. Once you select it, upload the video you just downloaded. After the video is uploaded, either generate new audio or upload your own. I'll use the audio I uploaded earlier. I'll select it and once it's added, click Generate. Here is the result. If you like this video, click the like button. And if you are yet to subscribe, what are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button. It turned out well. It used the base video and applied the lip syncing to the audio we provided. If you want to use sync.so directly, their native platform allows up to 30 minute generations, which is great for long form content. Once your videos are generated, click the download button beside the file and it will download directly to your computer. And that's how you create a realistic, consistent AI influencer using the upgraded Nano Banana Pro model with the improvements to 2K and 4K quality, stronger facial structure, cleaner text, and better identity control. You can finally build characters that look natural across every angle without wasting time or credits fighting with broken generations. If you want to try this out for yourself, remember that Higgsfield is offering unlimited Nano Banana Pro generations for an entire year when you sign up using the link in the description. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you want me to cover next, whether it's more AI influencers, animation tools, or full faceless channel workflows. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next 